All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to jump inside of a FANUC robot and grab a program remotely. So if there's a TP file, a teach pendant file, a program file that you're after, and you can access the rem uh, robot remotely, uh, this is the way to do it. Now, if you didn't already know this, just knowing that you can access the robot remotely in this way, 192.168.1.12. So this will be just whatever you have your robot's IP address set at. This will take you to a user interface. So like, if you don't already know, most devices have a user interface. Uh, some of them are very generic and you can't do anything within it. Others are much more powerful. Um, you know, and go going into how you can get it here, this is a very generic version of uh, Fanix web interface. There's also this echo feature where you can directly go in there and see exactly what somebody's doing in the teach pendant. And there's also navigate I pendant, which gives you the ability to uh, actually drive around inside of the teach pendant as if you have the teach pendant in your hand. And there's even a function where you can jog the robot as well, which you don't see it here. Uh, this robot probably needs a software update to be able to see that one. Now, you can see there's some other tools here. There's comment tool, there's browse tool, search tool. Now, I want to take you guys right here to TP program files available. So you can open this up and then you can come through here and you can find uh, some files. So let's say for instance, uh, we'll go with offset, right? I can click into this right now, this .ls file. This is a readable file. I can immediately come over here and look at this and see the program file inside the FANUC robot without having to open up any other software. It's right here in the web browser interface. Now you can also open this up in like notepad. LS files are open, uh, able to be opened in like a notepad. So you can download it as well. So what I'm really talking about is that if you need to download the file out of the FANUC robot to maybe take it into RoboGuide and do some other uh, edits. So all you gotta do is literally click the .tp version of the program, boom, download. Now you have the, the TP uh, version already on your SFL file and complete. Okay, well I don't know what the issue is with that, but uh, maybe I'll figure out why it's saying file incomplete and I'll look into that and, and make a second video on it. But it should just download, you should be able to just have the file and then boom, you're done. Um, you can take that file and go edit, edit it however you need to. So hopefully that was useful for you guys. Uh, definitely super powerful, especially if you can set up like a VPN on the computer, then there's uh, it opens up a lot more capability to not even need to be on site to be able to get the robots backups.